Greetings boys and girls, adjutants of all ages. In today's video we are going to take a look at the fire operator, Frisha Hush. Frisha Hush is a character that can be built either as a burst DPS or a defensive support. Her standard skill, strongest chain, fires a silent chain. On hit, the chains will pull in up to four enemies back to its point of impact, before exploding dealing thermal damage. Any enemies hit by strongest chains will be unable to use their special skills for 10 seconds. This can be further upgraded via Frisha's Neuronics, Strongest Chain, Cluster Enhancements. Her support skill, Hephaestus Respect, will grant the active operative 5 stacks of Fire God's protection. When the active player takes damage they lose 1 stack of protection and the damage taken is reduced by 50%. In addition, the skill's secondary effect, Reversed Flame Burning, will be triggered, dealing thermal damage to the surrounding enemies for 5 seconds. This can be further upgraded via Frisha's Neuronics, Hephaestus Respect, Cluster Enhancements. Her ultimate, until pain's end, unleashes lasting flame at her target. While the ultimate is active, Frisha is stationary and cannot be moved, sustained damage with lasting flame increases its attack by 2% and max out at 200 stacks. This can be further upgraded via Frisha's Neuronics, until pain's end, cluster enhancements. Her passive heart nail, Daywoes, decreases energy consumption of her ultimate, and further decreases it by 2% for every 100 alignment index stat she has. In addition the team's max ultimate energy cap is increased by 20. This is a fantastic passive for a support character. By default, the maximum ultimate charge that can be stored by your party is 100, and it is a resource that is shared between all of your party members. Using your ultimate on a character like Acacia Kaguya, would leave you unable to follow up with another ultimate due to its 80 energy requirement. This passive being able to raise the energy cap from 100 to 120 is huge when paired with the Logistics Shinya squad, which will raise that cap by another 32 points, letting you store up to 152 ultimate energy charge. This will allow a character like Kaguya to use her ultimate and be followed up by any character with a 70 energy cost ultimate and lower. When it comes to weapons her best for star choice is Strawberry Shortcake, this weapon is perfect for support Hush. Granting the active operative 13.2% of Hush's attack, as bonus damage for 15 seconds after her support skill is used. Another support option is Odd Alley Cat, it has great synergy with her passive increasing the squad's ultimate recovery by 30%. This is an ideal weapon if you're going to use her with a character like Kaguya, to get her ultimate up as often as possible. For 5 star choices, Lava Bones is going to be your best in slot for DPS Hush. It will allow her to do even more damage with her ultimate, and do bonus damage to burning targets. Since she already grants a plus 20 to our ultimate energy cap, Going all in into energy recharge for support hush is a viable approach. For level 20 to 35 players, if you manage to get your hands on the three-piece phantom, definitely use it. Getting another 21% energy recharge for the entire team is very beneficial on energy-hungry teams. At level 40 plus you can upgrade this set to the Shinya squad, which will give your squad even better energy efficiency. Pair those set with the odd alley cat and you'll really be cooking. For DPS Hush, Fenya Squad is going to work pretty well, increasing your ultimate damage by 32%, and your outgoing damage by 46% for 10 seconds, after your ultimate is cast. Her ultimate has a very low cooldown at 10 seconds, and equally low energy cost at 60. Pair that with her passive, Heart Nell Daywoes, which further decreases the energy cost, makes it the ideal ability to spam. Do keep in mind casting it does make you a sitting duck, so it might be a good idea to bring a healer late game. When it comes to her manifestation they are all pretty much geared towards her ultimate. Although the ultimate has the potential to hit some pretty big numbers once she's properly built, she's just way too vulnerable while it is active. That being said, they are as follows. M1, Sleepless Millennia, Lasting Flame can be continuously unleashed but it consumes more and more U energy as it does so. M2, unyielding, when unleashing lasting flame, Frisha obtains one stack of fire god protection every 0.5 seconds. M3, iron liver, when lasting flame hits a burning target, 
recovers 0.3 U energy. M4, regretless flames. Until pain's end, skill level plus one, increases the damage of lasting flame over time by 21% of Frisch's attack, plus 20. M5, warm friendship, for each additional stack of fire god protection, increases damage reduction by 5%. Like always, Neuronics are one of the most important skills to upgrade when building your characters. If your hush is going to be used primarily as a support character, I recommend activating the left side special node for Hephaestus Respect Cluster first. Although this doesn't increase the amount of damage the shield can absorb, it does provide huge resistance to interruptions and knockbacks. Followed by the right side's Hephaestus Respect special node which will allow the shield to remain after all the stacks are consumed. For main DPS hush, the control node for the strongest chain cluster should be your first priority. This will allow you to stun targets when using your standard skill and allow you to safely follow up with your ultimate. Next should be the right damage node for until pain ends, if you are using a thermal weapon. If you are not running a thermal weapon you want to choose the left damage node for until pain ends. The rest is up to you. Due to the nature of her kit, Hush can fit into a variety of team comps. For main DPS Hush, spamming until pain's end is going to be your bread and butter. Be sure you have both until pain's end, clusters fully upgraded in your neuronics, and have a fire weapon equipped. Lava Bones is ideal but don't go out of your way to get it. The Fustar, Fury is a solid choice. Of course there are better non-fire element for star weapons she could use, but do remember you need a fire weapon to take full advantage of her kit. If you don't have any four stars, the three star war hummer is serviceable. Strawberry shortcake should be your last result for main DPS hush, because she cannot trigger the passive on herself if she is the wielder. However you can throw strawberry on Frisha little sunshine, who can already provide a damage buff, making her even better support for herself. If you don't have little sunshine, Chengxing can be a good substitute while providing healing. Haru with her vanishing phantom neuronics active, will give the entire squad a nice 20% attack buff for 20 seconds after her skill is used to defeat a target, it's a solid choice to buff Hush's damage. Of course Acacia Kaguya, is a solid substitute for any of them, if you have her. Because you're a sitting duck, while casting your ultimate on your last slot, you can use a character that can provide a slow effect like Acacia Redacted, a stun like Wednesday or a freeze like Wild Hunt, for when your own stun is on cooldown. For support Hush, equip her with Strawberry Shortcake, Shinya Squad for logistics and she can fit into pretty much any team, providing shielding, an attack buff from Shortcake, increased ultimate energy cap and faster ultimate energy recovery. Throw her in with Acacia Kaguya and Yao Winter Solstice, and you'll have one of the best team comp in the game right now. Replace Strawberry with Odd Alley Cat, if you need even faster energy recharge for Kaguya. You can swap Yao out for Fanny Cornet, Life Wild Hunt, or a 4-star carry. Frisha Hush is an interesting character. At present I would not blame anyone for dismissing her, as a weak character. Based on her kit we can assume her role was meant to be that of a burst DPS, but that would just mean a lot of her burst capabilities are locked behind her manifestations. I'm sure you could still make her work, but running a setup like that would mean a healer is mandatory for survival. As a support however I can definitely see her potential, the shield she provides is one of the strongest in the game and thanks to Shortcake she also provides a damage buff that will only get better as you invest in her. And so to you my dear viewers I pose this question. What do you think about Frisha Hush? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you made it this far, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you have decided to subscribe, consider turning on notifications to stay up to date with all of my latest uploads. Until next time, remember to aim at fate and fight by our side.
final steps for the day. <laughs>